Hi everyone and welcome to the latest episode of Personnel Only, a special series here at Philadelphia Zoo where we take you behind the scenes of some of our most important and most fun jobs throughout the zoo. Now today we are highlighting Barb, who is our Director of Nutrition. So what does that mean? Nutrition for whom? My job specifically is to develop and implement diets for all of the animals in the collection. Wow. So essentially formulating them, making sure they have all the nutrients in them that the animal needs in a day and ensuring all the food that we purchase for the animal and bring in meets are the quality standards. All of the diets that we feed, we try to promote natural feeding behavior. Of course. And so it is, it's really crucial that we look at their digestive morphology, that we understand their natural history. All of those things go into putting together a diet that's appropriate for each individual. This is a lot of hard science that goes into this. And what a lot of people don't necessarily understand, this is a big thing for me, science doesn't always take place in a lab or in a field. A lot of times science takes place on a computer. And that's why we're in your office. We're actually looking at a diet. This is for the penguins. And essentially for our penguins, what we do is we break their diet down into their different stages. So whether they're rearing chicks, they're molting, those sorts of things. Because each of those different life stages requires a different level of calories or energy. Wow, okay, right. so this is far more complicated than I and think most people realize. So in order to do this, we develop something we call a penguin calculus. Later. This gives us an estimate of what we think they should be eating okay. by calculation. So it just gives us a way to monitor them and make sure that we're getting the nutrients into them that they need. There's so much more to this than just putting food into an enclosure with an animal. And actually, um, we're going to go over to the commissary, sure. which is where we receive and store all of the food for our 1,300 animals here at the zoo. Come on in. It smells very nice. It smells like a kitchen. It smells like yes. a kitchen in here. So what we do in here is we essentially assemble the deliveries for each of the areas. A lot of that's actually done in the refrigerator. So when you look at this, this yeah. side is the food that is delivered from the vendor. Okay. And we take it out of the boxes for the most part so we know what we have. And once they open up a new box, they'll put it in the bins. This side is set up, and the setup is for delivery. So this is the warehouse. And so this is where we store dry goods. Right, this okay. is a dry food storage. What would you say is the strangest, or maybe the most surprising food that we receive here for animals that maybe people wouldn't expect to see? The uh, Happy Belly toasted oats. <laughs> They're a fun snack for a number of animals. Coconut water is something that we've learned that a lot of our animals will like. And sometimes when we bring animals into quarantine, oh. they have a hard time settling in. The coconut water gets them drinking. This is a thaw box. This is a what? Thaw box. Oh. The only meat products go in here. This is where we thaw all the meat for the collection. And fish will be thawed in here as well. This is our freezer. sardines. Right now they're being used as a treat for the otters. That's trout. So this is something that our penguins would eat, yes. uh, which makes sense. This is this is about penguin size. The penguins need a slender yeah. fish. because They're not chewing. Penguins right. don't chew, in case you're wondering. They, they just, just oops, swallow right it right yeah. down. This is a shad, and we use oh, this for our um, for our giant otters. And you notice the different shape of the fish. Um, it's very different shaped fish than what the, the penguin fish is. You're right. This shape, even if it was a smaller fish, they wouldn't be able to eat. No. They need something that's very specific. Kind of like round. Um, yeah, and can shoot down the gullet with no problem whatsoever. Where the otters, they eat them like ice cream cones. They <laughs> do. <laughs> you know, so it's a really And they have really sharp teeth that actually right. help them separate the and bones very, out. And yeah, they have very specialized teeth. Wow. They have perseverous teeth. Jordan. It's amazing because when you think about the animals here at the zoo, you're like, oh, they, they eat fish, they eat meat. It is so much more involved than yeah. that. Well, thank you so much, Barb. This was, uh, this was illuminating. I, I have learned an immense amount. Even after my many years here at the zoo, I still am learning so much all the time. I love being able to spend so much time with people like you who are just 
absolutely brilliant and a true expert. Uh, this has been fascinating. I'm sure everybody at home enjoyed watching too. <laughs> so thank you all so much for joining us on our latest episode of Personnel Only. We'll be back next time with another special zoo guest.